Hi guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April and that is the amazing Maui. Say hello Maui, I think he pooped on the back of my head. And we've got the Puff Man, oh what, no, who is in a really hormonal mood today. Are, you, are your hormones just going crazy? Yeah, he bit me. You see that? He bit me. Anyways, today guys, this is the second part to our Cayuse video. The first one was about diet. Oh my gosh. We covered so much. So if you haven't watched that, the card will be at the end of this video. So we covered about... We covered <laughs> Stuff and how kayaks, you know, sometimes don't get along with other kayaks and uh, uh, how it's important to uh, give your kayaks plenty of attention and uh, how sometimes, you know, they can bite and uh, one minute they're happy happy and the next minute they're trying to kill you. But that's all normal because they're kayaks, right? So, you know, so anyways, this video is going to cover hormones and all kinds of stuff. And it's going to be incredible. And if you have not watched our first video, which covers diet and so many important things, things that you need to know about kayaks, the card will be at the end of this video. So another unique thing that kayaks do, and I love to watch, bless you, they sneeze when they get excited, don't worry, they're not sick, is they like to surf. And I'm not talking about hanging 10 on a surfboard at the beach. No, that would not be safe, right? It wouldn't be safe for the sharks or any of the sea life because they would kill them. They would kill them all out there because that's what they do. Nothing safe from a kayak, okay? So just think about that. Oh my God, there's more poop. Oh, where did that come from? Did you guys see when that happened? Gross. Surfing basically is when a kayak in the rainforest, when it's rainy, they will rub themselves on the leaves. So the dew drops and that's how they take their baths because they're rainforest birds, right? Oh. Much. Here we go, honey. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. You're such a good girl. So the way they like to take their baths is I'll spray a towel and like a towel like this and they will basically rub on it. They like that so much more. This is what I've noticed from my guys, so much more than being put in the shower or being sprayed directly by a, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, you guys remember how I said how they do not make good pets for children? Here we go. Whoa, okay, so. Hold on, let me just get through this for a second. So let me find a treat. Let me find a treat. Okay, so now he's tangled up, so this is the other issue. So he's panicking. He's panicking. He feels that he is stuck. So this is, you know, he's lashing out. And that's what they do. If they get scared, they do bite. They bite a lot, you guys. They're very beaky birds. Okay, so he's hung. We might have to cut for a second to get him out of there. We gotta move on here. You just spray a towel, give them a wet towel, and they love to bathe on it. And just while you're spraying it, if you see that they wanna jump into the spray bottle, make sure your spray bottles are not slimy inside. So you wanna clean your spray bottles out with a dilution of vinegar and water, or else they do grow all kinds of aches in there and bacteria, and then you make your birds sick and all that drama. So uh, honestly, a spray bottle should be cleaned like once a week, cause still, you guys, it's like grrr, slimy. Spray that towel and they will surf. And then if they decide they want to jump into the spray bottle, they will. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go into the toy part. Whoa, that is a really messy poop. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, you gotta see this. Like, you see the color? It's like really purple. So can I get that, Maui? Yeah, so, okay, so 
I think, how many poos? You get two, so I don't know how many there were before. So there are about six, seven, it's a lot of poops. And I'm glad they're vocalizing because they were pretty quiet to start out the video. And I just really want you guys to dig in, to really feel what it's like having a kayak. And it can be loud, there can be a lot of fights. Behave, no, Maui, come over here, stop, stop. Hey, cut it out, cut it out, break it out. Nope, 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 nope. What was that about? Um, they do these high-pitched little screeches, like, you know, and it can be wow, you know. So if you live in an apartment, it could be a problem. Although, I, I think, you know, they're pretty quiet birds, sort of, because you know, you're going to have a quieter bird if they are a happy bird, right? So this is why we're going to talk about toys. What's going on right now? So it's all, oh, oh, and you should not do what I just did because that encourages behavior. Oh, he's, oh, oh, I'm going to get this. So do you see how they're getting over, over stimulated? Okay, so this is why I say kites do not make good pets for two years. Can you imagine them in a house with a bunch of kids or toddlers and they have friends and they're wowing these birds up? It could be a real problem. It could be dangerous. It could be dangerous for the bird, dangerous for the kids. So look, now he's fine. Do you see how one minute they're like blah, 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 and the next minute they're fine. So, oh, okay, okay. Just I'm just quiet. I just kind of close my eyes. Although you want to keep one eye open, but you just want to like, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't take your eyes. You, you keep one eye open and you just kind of calm down so they feel your calm energy. All right. They feel my calm energy. Do you see what just happened? Okay, so as soon as I start talking again, they're probably gonna get loud. So here we go. So let's dive into the toys, guys. So I have different types of toys. I have types of toys that they can chew, they can shred, and I can hide like little things in there. Now, I was gonna say sunflower seeds because you do not wanna give your kike too much fat because they can get fatty liver disease. They can get congestive heart failure. And that is something that you do not want because it is horrible when it happens, right guys? So here we go. Here's another chew toy. Puppy likes to chew these. So this is yucca and you can once again put stuff in there. I've got blocks. They like foot toys. So I put these little blocks on the ground and no, on the bottom of their cage. And then we've got, so we got this. So you can order different foot things from bird online stores and I like to order online because there are a lot of diseases out there and if you go into a bird store you do risk the chance of bringing a disease home to your birds. Now I have Dixie cups here. Now these Dixie cups do not have the wax. It's just plain paper and I'm gonna give them, I have a Nutriberry right here. Do you see this? So you let them see. Oh, no, you can't have it. You have to get it out of there you little booger. You see that? Do you want it? Do you want it? Okay, so this is what you have to do. You have to work for it, dude. No, you have to work for it, man. There we go. So they might not do it the first time, but what you can also do is have someone else, oh, they're gonna fight, have someone else come over and open it. And do you see how he shakes that paper? That's what kayaks do when they get their prey. They shake it to death. Yeah, okay, so you see, look. See that? That's so Peppy is working on that Dixie cup and he's getting his reward out of there, which is a Nutriberry. He's working for it. Birds are happier when they work for their food. Because that's what they do in the wild, right? They stay busy, they just don't sit in a cage. So another thing is I love these little rubber balls. Look how cool that is. So you can stuff all kinds of treats. Like I stuff a load of Dixie cups in here and blocks and you can wash these. It's just and sterilize them. They're wonderful. They make wonderful toys and they last a long time. So that's something else guys. And then of course, you know, your basic uh, wooden toys that I hang in the cage and yes, they chew through this. Their beaks are so very powerful, right Maui? 
So after my Kaiks pooped up a storm and had a meltdown, I decided it was time that they took a little break from filming. They needed a little nap, which reminded me of how much sleep a Kaik needs, something we have not discussed in this video that is super important. Kaiks need 10 to 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep. In fact, certain times a year when they are hormonal or when it's nesting season, they might even need a little bit more. Just imagine a human toddler that doesn't get enough sleep. They're gonna cry, they're gonna scream, they're gonna bite, you know, everything a human toddler does. But it's the same with a kayak. If they don't have enough sleep, they're gonna have many undesirable behaviors. They're gonna scream, they're gonna bite, and they're also going to have hormone issues, which they're probably gonna have during nesting season anyways, but it's going to magnify it if they don't have enough sleep. They need time to recharge. Yes, those little energizer bunnies need time to recharge mentally, physically, and you are going to have a calmer, I hate to say calmer because kayaks really aren't calmer. You're going to have a happier and healthier kayak. Sunlight is so important for your birds mentally, physically, and in fact, many of the undesirable behaviors or medical issues that your bird has can be because they are not getting enough sunlight. Now, it is important that you always have your birds That was a, a ladybug that just jumped on me. Okay, so we're okay, we're gonna keep filming. So it's important that you safely secure your kayaks, whether it's wearing a harness or in a carrier or they're in an aviary because things happen so quickly out here. All right, so the birdies needed another break and it's dinner time and I'm collecting poop on my shirt. And Victoria, of course she's not a cockatoo, but she wanted to hang out with her mommy because she misses her, huh, Victoria? So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna fix everybody dinner. So this is all the old stuff from this morning. And then we're gonna finish filming. Do you have food on your beak? All right, and while we're taking a little break, you guys, this is a great time to like and subscribe if you already haven't because we appreciate it. Okay. Let's finish this so we can keep on filming. All right, don't go anywhere. You know what is really sad is these guys will live to be 25, or they're supposed to live to be 25 to 30, but many of them do not make it like past five. And many of them are rehomed at age three or two because they become sexually mature, yeah. Oh boy, talk about sexually mature there. Now this boy's gonads, when he's hormonal, they get so big, they push on his organs. And you guys have seen all that drama, right? That where he starts this huffing and a puffing. You see what's going on? So basically his gonads are getting big and they're pushing on his organs and pushing on his air sac and they're causing a lot of discomfort. So Puffy will have to usually, when that happens, I get a Lupron shot, which he just had one like two months ago, but they only last a month. So I give it to him when it's hormone season time just to get him through. So I think he's gonna take, need another one, right? There's the... I know, I know. Oh. Hey, So that's a Lupron shot. Is that what they call it? Yep. Okay. Depo Lupron. Depo Lupron. Okay, but yeah, but he's looking good. That's the puffy update everybody wanted right there. Mmm. Yeah, is it good, Victoria? Is it good? Did you know we have blueberries here? Did you know we have blueberries? Because usually blueberries are her favorite. But right now she wants her banana. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. That's so good. You're such a good girl. All right, we gotta go back to this Kaik video. I don't think there's gonna be anything left of mommy. No. No. I'm curious, for those of you that were thinking about getting a Kaik, 
Did this video make you want to change your mind? Or are you still going to get a kayak? And if you did change your mind, let me know in the comments below what part of this video made you change your mind. Right, Puffy? Oh my gosh. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big like. And if you're not already a Parrot Playhouse subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you can see more about these crazy kayaks. See what they're really about. And what is that on your face? That does not look like berries. That looks like poop. Yeah, I still have poop on the back of this shirt. All right, guys, we love you. We hope you found this video fun and educational and all of that. And if you want to watch more about these crazy kayaks cards at the end of this video, you can click and watch even more awesome videos on these little psychos. Yeah.